So my name is Romy, Romy Marino Amber. I am from the Netherlands. I am 33 years old. I have a son who's 14 years old and he lives with my two older sister Sandy and my her ex-boyfriend and um, I had to give up custody when he was about a month old to my sister because I could not care for him at that time I was just 18 and almost 19 when he was born and um, I was unable to care for a child I was a child myself still so I gave up custody to my sister and uh, I had very much confusion about it because there were some small things that didn't add up for my feelings and uh, I was uh, locked in psychiatry after my son's birth I've been to many psychiatries and for juvenile so uh, I uh, I tried to what do you call it in English I tried to get my son back but I couldn't and my dad kept telling me he's okay now he's with your sister so leave him where he is and don't try to take him back because he will get in trouble and he will never get custody anymore and such and such silly things I tried to get to gain, gain custody back but I uh, could not so he didn't do it and uh, my son is 14, he has ADHD just like I had on a, when I was 10 and uh, mm, my dad uh, always told me to, to just stay in the background a little because um, he's taken care of and that's good, good and uh, I should not try to take him from his normal situation but he asked me a lot a lot of times to take him away from there and to give him a better life um, I am locked in psychiatry since I was 10 years old, I had my car accident at 10 years old, I got into a coma and then I, ever since I never lived at home again, just a very short period of times, uh, maybe three times, four times total, but short periods of times. And um, I'm sorry, I'm shaking. Um, I, uh, I'm always locked away and I had a psychosis about Hitler many times. I told that story already and, uh, but in Dutch, I visited Dachau with dad when I was, when he took me away from some institution and, uh, he, he took me on the run. And we visited a concentration camp in Dachau and I became psychotic about it. About Hitler wanting to murder me, Hitler wanting to harm me, and Hitler chasing me. And I had that psychosis of Hitler wanting to harm me a good seven or eight times. So that's pretty... If, so, if you ever had a psychosis, you know it's very realistic and it seems very real. So in your world... When you, you think you are living in Dachau, you are living in Dachau for your feeling. And uh, in my feeling, I never left Dachau since I visited Dachau. So that was... Uh, I uh, also heard Hitler speaking to me. It was very scary. And 
my dad said you opened the portal for in your psychic gifts for Hitler to come true. And Hitler has been watching you the entire time since you visited Dachau. He never left you and such such silly things and I didn't want to believe it was a portal because of my psychic gifts because I'm very skeptic about having psychic gifts myself but my dad always told me I'm very psychic just like him and um, he mentioned it was a portal but the doctor said I don't care if you're psychic or not if you hear bad voices if you hear scary voices like hitler i'm going to drug you until the voices stop or go away that i don't care they said and um yeah that's partial my story hitler always been chasing me in my mind ever since i visited dachau in 2005 when i was a runaway or kidnapped, I do not know exactly the, the right word, my dad took me from an institution and uh, I was on the run with dad, he always said I was uh, a runaway in the beginning until I explained that dad picked me up and took me away from there because they thought I, I ran, ran away myself and um, they had no clue that my dad took me away from there so it was sort of I was kidnapped or abducted <laughs> by my own dad but he did care for me and he did it because he cared for me he really did everything for me if he had, had to Sorry, I'm uh, a little tired. I had two Laura's of them. <laughs> and um, yeah, I had a very good dad. He would go through fire for me. And he would, would literally do anything for me. He, ha he had my back like a thousand percent, not a hundred, but a thousand, if not more. And he uh, tried to pick me up every day. Um, I have a picture of him here, I'm sorry, but I always show that, so I'm not going to show it again. Um, yeah, I was, I forgot what I was going to say, my brain damage, <laughs> I totally go blank now, I really don't know what I was saying anymore. <laughs>